This next couple we're going to meet you, introduce you to? They're going to need a break. They're going to need a break. <laughs> the Denaer couple who had quadruplets last oh December my. is back with a life update. Courtney standing by with more on the quad squad. Yes, the Villanueva quad squad. We've got mama and daddy <laughs> with us this morning. Good morning, Renee. Good morning, Tanya. Uh, good morning. Everybody. Okay, first question. Are you guys exhausted? To say the least, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're, we're pretty tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much for spending some time with us this morning. We have just been so in love with your family when we you know, first heard about the boys being born uh, at the end of last year. And then, you know, they had to stay in the NICU for a while because they were so small. But all four of them are home now. Is that right? Yes. It's all, all four are home already. Doing good, doing good. Um, they're healthy and you know that's that's all we can ask for and and yeah like i said last time on last segment uh you know now the real work begins so yeah <laughs> i i hear a little work happening behind you yeah. you said it was nap time right is somebody waking up it's supposed to be nap time but we <laughs> Have a little oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my All right, we got three out of four. That's not bad. Babies. Okay, um, so let's talk about who came home first because I, I want to say, wasn't it Samuel came home first? Yeah, Samuel Samuel came home first, even though he was a, the smallest baby. Uh huh. He was the one passing pretty much all the tests the car wow. seat test, the, the feeding and pooping test. So <laughs> they. You know, yeah. even though he was the smallest, they sent him home well first, him and then, um, and then the rest. You know, not, and then we got Julian. Julian we got came. Julian okay. next <laughs> later, and then we got Andrew and Robert at the last. Um, the, they've been here already almost a month. Oh my all four gosh! Of, now, yeah, who did you four. who did you name them after? Anybody in particular, or were they just names that you love? Um, well, Andrew, Julian, and Samuel, um, those are just names that, you know, we just kind of liked and, yeah. and we you know, went with it. But Robert, we we named after our doctor, Dr. Robert Alvin. Oh, that's so great. Oh, yeah, my that gosh. Was, that's what's good. He was a great doctor, helped us out so much. Um, yeah, we couldn't have done it without him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm sure Tanya's like, yeah, no, for real. Um, can we be nosy? Can we see the stuff that you have in fours? Like, what does the nursery look like? Yeah, well, we have two cribs. Oh um, we have a little twin size, or yeah, a little twin size bed. And then we have another. Here's the here's the second crib. Oh, oh my goodness! Changing look at all their clothes. <laughs> their clothes. We have um, some of the um, preemie clothes that they're kind of, um, you know, that they're. Uh, more off of now. Now they're into the into the newborn. Oh boy! Let's see over here. We have their oh stacks of diapers. Gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. That's about half a day's worth right there. Oh my gosh! This is Poor bananas. Car <gasps> Look at the car seat. Oh my gosh! Okay, now so so Renee, how how what kind of vehicle do you guys have that's going to get all these car seats in? Bus. All right. Um, well, it should be a limousine or something. Like that. <laughs> right. Um, we have a Yukon, like a Yukon Denali, like okay. a suburban type. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, we all fit, but without the strollers, because we just got double oh, strollers yeah. um, for the babies. Oh, yeah. So either those are going to get strapped on top of the truck, or, yeah. <laughs> or we're going to upgrade to something a little bigger. <laughs> yeah, Question. Do what you gotta do. Question from the floor. Yes, yes. Have you approached the hospital about maybe taking two of them at a time, like to swap out each month? Like, you guys have two, we'll have the other two. <laughs> that way, when we go to the uh, doctor's appointments, um, we do it in, in twos because you do. it's okay. too much. Yeah, I would imagine. Oh my so. gosh! So how how often have you guys been to doctor's medical center since the boys have been home? Uh, we have not. Okay. We went. Okay. Uh, Across the street to the, like the cardiologist, yeah. um, you know, checkups like that. But uh, actual doctors, we have we haven't yet. We're we're yet to set up a little day in the schedule to go and and kind of like visit, you know, all the nurses and, yeah. and uh, that uh, helped us out there. So, another question you. from the floor. Yes, you. What's the longest stretch of sleep you've had since the boys <laughs> have all been home? Um. Well, we feed them every three hours, so we just sleep. 
yeah. in between times, you know. Yeah. So, so we're, it, the, we're cutting into that now. <laughs> change of freedom. We might get two hours of sleep in between. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So do you have, I mean, they're so young right now, it's kind of hard to have a schedule. But do the two of you have a plan? Like, okay, you feed while I change diapers and then swap. No, well, what we do is um, we each have two. I'll, I'll have two uh, two babies with me on the bed, uh -huh. and then mom two on her side. And I pretty much wake up, um, change both of their diapers, and then I'll grab one. And then by the time I grab one, she's already changed uh, her baby's <laughs> diaper. Oh my gosh. And we we'll each grab one, go to the couch, and then sit down, feed them, and then burp them, lay them down, and then we'll do the same with the other two. Oh and it, my goodness. Like in the middle of the night, you're, you know, kind of in a rush to yeah. just, okay, because we want to go back to bed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a, that's so true. Well, listen, thank you so much for your time this morning. We really appreciate you guys sharing the boys with us. Oh, my gosh. Who is that? Baby Robert. Hi, Robert. Hi, Robert. Look, he's looking at, oh, that's my mama. That's my daddy. Hi, Robert. Oh. So great. Again, named after the doctor, uh, doctor's medical center in uh, the Stanislaus County area. And there's the other boys, uh, Julian, Andrew, and Samuel. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't know about y'all, but I don't know that I could do four babies. But I, they have a GoFundMe set up. So we've got a link to our website, gooddaysacramento.com, mm. under show info in today's day. Because as you can imagine, it's going to take a lot to raise these Villanueva quad squad. Thank you so much, Renee and Tanya. Get some sleep when you can. I mean, you know. <laughs> in 18 Thank years. You. Nice. When, wow. if, if we weren't in a pandemic, I would come over and wash bottles for you, but I, I respect your household. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are more than welcome to. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye, Bye Robert. Bye, Robert. Bye, buddy. Oh, my God. Now oh. I feel so soft that my wife and I struggled so much with one between the two of us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I will never complain about nothing. Oh, Our executive man. producer, Tracy Ketchum, goes, four? I've been dealing with the babies on this show. There's like 50 of them. That's a good point. Very good point, yes.